Well, the cost of justice has been going up. Many states are imposing crippling fines as a way to close budget gaps. Those who can't pay can wind up behind bars. Here's justice correspondent Jeff Pegues. After 24 hours behind bars in College Station, Texas, this unemployed mother of three is minutes away from being released. I have three children and I just want to go home and see my babies. She asked us to conceal her identity as she explains how her inability to pay a simple traffic ticket drove her down a path to jail. It just kind of snowballed. With paying my bills, I didn't have the, the money to, to confront this. Traffic violations, missed payments, and failures to appear in court caused her bill to grow to nearly $3,000 in fines, fees, and an arrest warrant. I'm Judge Spillane. But City Judge Ed Spillane had her released immediately. Why did you release her? I released her so she could have a chance to work with us on a plan to do community service. Every week, Spillane releases defendants who are not a danger to society and simply can't pay the fines. It's completely illegal. You, you cannot be uh, put in jail due to your economic status or economic inability to pay a fine. The Justice Department agrees. It sent this letter to every court in the country discouraging the practice by calling it unlawful. A Brennan Center study found that at least 15 states have user fees which are explicitly intended to raise revenue. How much money are some of these states making from these fees? The state of Texas makes a billion dollars a year. A billion a year. In state fees. You have... Belaine uh, says uh, by releasing uh, defendants uh, who do not have the money, he is simply following Supreme Court directives. Aren't you advocating a slap on the wrist? And that's it. Absolutely not. You're crying again. This woman got a break. Yes, sir. You know, I just need to get back on my feet. But across the country, others like her are still locked up. Jeff Begay, CBS News, College Station, Texas.